The final warning is going to be given to the people on the earth before God's judgments take place, which involve the second angel's message being repeated that says that Babylon is fallen and include the corruptions that enter the different organizations that make up Babylon. A call to come out of Babylon and the third angel's message, which talks about the consequences of receiving the mark of the beast. The time is coming when there will be a law that everyone has to observe Sunday, the false Sabbath day. Anyone who refuses will be punished and declared worthy of death. Whoever obeys human laws over God's law will get the mark of the beast. But no one is going to suffer God's wrath until he understands and rejects the truth. There's lots of people who have never learned about the truth of the Sabbath. Everyone will have enough light to make a wise decision. The Sabbath is going to be the test to see who's loyal to God or not. While one group will receive the mark of the beast, those who choose to obey God will get the seal of God. It may sound crazy to think that the United States would lose their freedom to worship as they want, but it will happen someday. The Holy Spirit is going to come on God's people and they will give the third angel's message. Thousands and thousands of people who have never heard words like this before will listen to the warnings. They will go to their former teachers and ask if all this is true. The ministers are going to try to play it off to calm their fears but many aren't going to be satisfied and want to know what the Bible says. The popular ministries are going to be mad because they're being questioned, and they're going to try to rile up those that love to sin to persecute the ones sharing the message. Satan gets angry that the truth is being spread and the lies exposed. He's going to use people to try to keep others from learning about the truth. The church will reach out to civil authority, and by doing so, Papists and Protestants will get together. Those that don't keep Sunday will get fined or go to jail. Some will be bribed and given rewards to give up their faith, but they will say, show us from God's word where we are wrong. Some will go to court to take their stand for the truth. There will be some that hear them who will choose to keep all of God's commandments. In this way, thousands of people will learn the truth where they might have not heard it before. The ones who decide to obey God's word will be seen as rebellious. Relationships will be broken. Parents will be mean to their children who believe the truth. They'll be disinherited and kicked out of the house. Some who refuse to honor Sunday will be thrown into jail or banished. Some will be treated like slaves. This seems impossible right now, but as God's Spirit is slowly leaving people and they're under Satan's control, these things will happen. There's going to be a lot of people who used to believe in the truth that will end up going on Satan's side. When Sabbath keepers are taken to court, these former believers will be the biggest troublemakers. During this time of persecution, the faith of the Lord's servants will be tested. They were faithful to give the warning and they didn't think about their reputation or lives. They will go through very hard times and, feeling their complete helplessness, they go to God for strength. Satan has lots of followers who are in leadership positions who would try to stop God's work. But God also has his people as leaders and will use them to prevent their plans from going through so the third angel's message can do its work. When the final warning is given, some of the leaders will accept the truth and go on God's side. God's people are going to go all over the place proclaiming the message. Thousands all over the earth will give the warning. Miracles will take place. Sick people will be healed. Signs and wonders will follow the believers. Satan is also going to work signs and wonders. He's even going to bring fire down from heaven in front of people. As a result, everyone will be brought to take their stand. The truth is seen clearly. And for those that really want to know the truth and obey it, Nothing, not even family or church connections, will stop them from taking their stand and going on God's side.